Hello everybody, welcome back to Andrea Wallace TV. In today's video, we have the benefits of traveling as a couple. So we got a special guest. I got a special guest to me, and it's my lovely husband, Andre Spence. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Please comment, share, and like this video, and keep watching. So guys, uh, don't forget to go to or to other channel, Andre and Andra Love Crossing Borders and Andre and Andra Mostly Money. So don't forget to go over there and subscribe also and watch and enjoy the other videos. Yes. Right. So I have the top five, top five of the benefits of traveling as a couple and Andre is going to help me with his comments and his opinions about all the experience that we have traveling uh, together, right, babe? I'm excited about this topic. So, uh, the first one is a good partner. When it comes to a good partner, I mean that your partner likes to travel as you. What about, yes. about that? Yes, absolutely correct, because a lot of times you'll find couples, mm -hmm. for example, I've got a friend of mine, his wife uh, had set up a cruise for them to go on, and she had been telling him for years, get your passport, get your passport. Mm -hmm. And for his birthday, she got this cru for his birthday a cruise to Aruba. And at the end of the day, he kept procrastinating on the passport. Well, she had to end up having to take one of her girlfriends on a cruise to Aruba, which was his birthday gift. And so when you have the right travel partner or a good travel partner, they're already prepared to travel just as well as you are. Yeah, that's true. I got an uh, example also, and it's a couple that I know that they got the money to do that, but he's the one that he doesn't like to travel outside of the country. He likes to be in the middle of the jungle, like in the forest, mm -hmm. but no enjoy the beaches. And I'm saying right? The beaches, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, no traveling outside of Colombia. So I think that is a uh, mess up, you know, because we experienced that when we traveling to Mexico and it was so amazing to do that. Right. One of the things that we learned as a couple, even though I'm from the United States, she's from Colombia, we decided to go to Mexico, which is a place neither one of us had gone to mm -hmm. uh, anytime recently. So at the end of the day, we got a chance to really enjoy and broaden our horizons of what's going on in other countries. And a lot of couples, if you're a good couple that has to be that deal with traveling, you know that uh, those type of travels are very important, not just traveling in the city, not just travel at the beach in your own country, mm -hmm. but also visiting other countries are just as good as, just, are just as important for a couple as well. That's so true, that's so true. So that comes to number two. Numero dos. Make your relationship stronger. In this case, I got a little uh, story that we took a, no, we didn't take a flight. We went to a town and we were just climbed a, a rock. We were some mountain right, or right. rock. It was close to the volcano. And uh, Andre helped me with that. And Andre, one day he told me that that makes your uh, confidence, your, tr your trust is stronger. And that's right. I mean, I was so afraid to come in. It was coming up or coming down. Coming down. It was coming, it was coming down. So he helped me with all that. He said, trust me, trust me. So in that moment, I was like, okay, whatever. But now, and, and when he told me that, that that makes your uh, relationship stronger, just see a few a little small things. Those little moments of trust, mm -hmm. whether it be trusting the, ver the person on the uh, reservations, trusting the person to make sure that the finances are established for the trip, making yeah. sure that the person or trusting the person when it comes to translations to where my English is, is, is you know, maybe a little bit more better than, than Andre's. And of course, her Spanish is a lot more better than my, my Spanish. Mm -hmm. So we work together in regards yeah. to trusting each other in different environments that we go into. And so that is a key when it comes to uh, traveling as a couple. You gotta be in a position where you can trust that person. Yeah, also dealing with the stress, also dealing with the patient. Uh, I'm not a patient person, Andre does. Andre super calm, so that's great. <laughs> For a relationship, yeah, yeah. yeah, I would be crazy. So yeah, you guys, I heard that, that um, make your relationship stronger because you um, start to know better your partner. So that's True. great. 
true. It's different than when you're at home and you trust each other when it comes to paying bills or when you trust each other when it comes to children or just domestic responsibilities. But when it comes to trusting somebody on a trip, on a vacation, you got to have faith in that in that person in regards to uh, making sure that all the things go right as well as making sure that we all stay positive as as much as possible while you're on the trip. So as Andrea was just saying, that trust is important and it's a completely different type of trust. than Number three. Number three. <laughs> uh, yeah, create memories together. That is so yes. amazing that we can create memories together and just, um, I leave all the story and the story that I have is uh, we were just discussing about what's your favorite city? Uh, what do you think about that? What's your favorite town? And we can talk about it because we got the experience and we experienced together. So I can say like easily, I like the food from this side uh, of Colombia. I like the tacos uh, from Mexico. What, what do you think about this? So it's amazing to create all those stories to tell to our family. Absolutely correct. And, and the good part about having those stories is those stories get you hyped up for the next trip that you might take as a traveler because you experience a good experience with your partner on the last trip. Yeah. It allows you to sit back and say, man, I can't wait to go on another trip with this person. Or even if you have trips where you go separately, but when you come back and do another trip together, you know what type of travel partner you have. So you really don't have to worry when it comes exactly. to creating the next round of vacation vacations or, or travel that you guys might do together. That's so true. And that it comes the number four. Numero cuatro. We'll say it. <laughs> Keep the flame alive. Keep the flame alive. All the romance. Yeah. Something that we do now with the guy, all this pandemic, all we're dealing with all of this lockdown again. What we do is uh, go to a uh, hotel. Yeah, Could nice be, hotel. Yeah. Uh, outside of the city you know, not leave the country or in the same city. There are some beautiful, in, here in Colombia, we found some beautiful, really nice hotels with the pools, accommodations, the breakfast, just really nice romantic areas where you can go and get away from home. If only for one night, just get away from home and just have a little mini vacation as That's a so couple. True. That's so true. And that helps a lot for your relationship. Even though that when we decide to have a baby, we still, uh, we do that for mm -hmm. Or relationship, That's something right. it, it's two different things to be a parent and to uh, be, a be, be a couple in a marriage. So you need to take care of that. That's like that's right. Absolutely correct. Just take care of both. So yeah. that's that's one of the things that we often do because of, you know, COVID-19 quarantines or curfews. We will every once in a while just say, you know what, babe, let's go rent a vacation. Let's rent a hotel on the other side of the city. And we find some great restaurants, some great places to yeah. visit, some great uh, locations to have some drinks that we wouldn't have ever discovered if we would have just stayed in our own area of the city. Uh, and so those mini vacations are very important. That's so true. It's mm -hmm. really healthy. It oh, is yeah. 100 percent recommended. Oh, yeah. Keep the flame alive. <laughs> OK, uh, numero cinco, number five. Numero cinco. Yeah, that's right. Beautiful pictures. Yes. And yeah, that is great that you have a partner that enjoy that. Uh, Photos of Taking photos mm -hmm. and see all the art like you. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a photographer uh, as a hobby. I love anything that has to do with art from drawings to paintings to mm -hmm. writing. But I enjoy uh, drawing. Um, I enjoy the, the photography part as well. But the cool part about that is I have Andrea, who is always my model mm -hmm. because she loves modeling and fashion. Yeah. So we get a chance on vacation to bounce off of each other. I never feel like, well, Andrea wants me to take all these photos. Well, that's what I like to do as a photographer. So and she uh, she never gets frustrated with, oh, wow, Andre wants me to do all these poses, except for maybe, you know, the heels can, you know, sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. A long, standing <laughs> long time in heels can be problematic. Yeah. But for the most part, uh, we really bounce off of each other. And you want to have a partner. If you're going to travel with somebody, you want to have somebody that you can bounce off of each other, whether it be laughing together, whether it be an adventure together, whether it be, uh, I know one couple, they, they both can swim and they can snorkel. So they love going to find places where they can go down to the middle of the ocean. I know another couple, they like, like me, they like museums. 
So they often find places in, in other countries where they enjoy the museums. So you always want to find something that you can build memories on and the photos are just as important because they give you something to look back on. For example, if you look back behind us, you see the refrigerator with all the magnets, Andrea's magnets from all the places that we've been around the mm -hmm. world. Those are like little photos for us in regards to every time we open up the refrigerator, we get a chance to see all the locations that we've traveled so far. And then we see the rest of the refrigerator that still has room for more magnets, meaning there's more places yeah. that we get a chance, to, a chance and opportunity to travel to in the future. You know, talking about the refrigerator, some people think that is, that, that is tacky to have a bunch of magnets over there. It's not. I mean, we can have the most fancy uh, kitchen and beautiful fridge, but my magnets will be on there. Yeah. yeah. Always. 100%. Always. Yes, that's true. So, you guys, this is uh, my top five of the benefits of traveling as a couple. I hope you guys enjoy and leave all the comments, recommendations, of course, opinions down below. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and uh, like this video. And also, don't forget to go to my Instagram account, Andrea Wallace TV, and on Instagram account, uh, Love Crossing Borders. Yes. On Instagram, of course. And don't forget also to go to our two channels, Andre and Andrea Love Crossing Borders and Andre and Andrea Must Leave Money. Yes. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Spence. Oh, yeah. Thank you for inviting me, babe. I appreciate it. This is fun. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's fun to record together. I All love right. you. I love you too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, so uh, keep watching, of course, all the videos that I have, and I see you in the next video. Let's do this, girl. What? <laughs> I just stop joking. Okay. Well. <clears throat> <clears throat>